Hello, I'm Dennis Atchison. This is As I See It. Today's episode is entitled, News Not in the News. Scientists in New Brunswick have created the first genetically modified politician. They've gathered the strongest characteristics of a politician, taking DNA from former Premier Sean Graham and taking DNA from current Liberal leader Brian Gallant. When they've combined the characteristics in the DNA, they came up with a politician they call Shrian Gramlant. The genetically engineered politician is a politician who can lie without remorse, lacks a moral compass, has no regard for the greater good, and is beautiful so you feel good voting for them no matter what. It's well known in New Brunswick that the path towards privatization is to defund, devalue, and then sell off the assets. Especially a hard hit has been the Department of Transportation, where it seems this practice has reached a new low. The Department of Tourism has implemented a new strategy this year to encourage tourists to stop in the province. New roadside amenities were installed in key locations to encourage people driving through the province on their way to PEI in Nova Scotia, of course, to stop and take in the beautiful scenery in what was once known as Canada's Picture Province. Staying with tourism, we are pleased to learn that the Department of Tourism has been recently nominated for an Honesty in Advertising Award. The billboard campaign at the border of Nova Scotia and New Brunswick depicts Parley Beach, beautiful pristine sand, a mom and a daughter walking on the beach. But the Honesty in Advertising Committee recognized that there's no one swimming in the water. Hence, they felt this was an honest depiction of current water conditions at Parley Beach over the past two years with problems with E. coli. The committee felt this bravery and honesty in advertising deserved to be recognized. And finally in New Brunswick, the government's clear-cutting policy on the forestry and crown lands management strategy has had unintended consequences. It's put pressure on unexpected places. We recently came across these pooches desperate to pee in the limited places left in order to relieve their pressure. Several of the canines we spoke to said they were considering moving out of the province for a better quality of life. That's all the news in the news. See you next time.